User-story approach is a proven technique to develop good software. But how are the user stories identified? Here are some situations that you might find yourself in. Very often, it's not easy to find out what the stakeholders want by asking questions like What do you need? They either have no idea or may be uncertain on what they really want and can accomplish. In this video, we are going to introduce a method that can help you identify user stories effectively. Instead of focusing on user stories, we can focus on business operation first. Introducing business process to user story mapping. The idea involves two parts. First, business process modeling. You start by understanding the daily workflow of a frontline staff. This may involve some site visiting and meetings. Then, visualize the business operations as business process diagram. After that, you can identify user stories based on the business process model. With the process diagram as reference, go through the process step by step with the frontline staff. For each business activity, think of its bottleneck and decide if any computer aid is needed. These needs are the user stories. By repeating these steps, you will eventually collect a set of user stories that can solve daily problems which the frontline staff may encounter. Now comes the demonstration. We will show you how to draw user stories in the business process diagram in Visual Paradigm. Here is a business process diagram. Before we start, create a layer for writing user stories first. The benefit of creating a specialized layer is to provide an easy way to optionally hide or show the user stories, which is important when you want to output your process design without outputting the user stories at the same time. Now it's time to move on to creating user stories. Let's say you are studying the workflow with the front of now and come to the point where you want to write down a user story. Choose the user story tool from the diagram toolbar. Click on the diagram to create a user story. Enter its subject. Connect the user story with the originated business task or sub-process. Apply this technique to create other user stories. Finally, you will have a process diagram with both the workflow and the related user stories in it. With the user stories created, you can carry on by managing your software project with Sprint. That's all for this video. Hope you find this feature useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Goodbye.